Hey, it's Nick with BNH, and today we are taking a quick look at the just announced Canon EOS R6 Mark II, as well as the accompanying brand new Canon RF 135mm f1.8 stabilized lens. Starting with the headliner, the R6 Mark II is the successor to Canon's incredibly popular EOS R6 and adds some welcome new upgrades. This includes a new higher resolution front side illuminated 24 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor, which is up from the 20 megapixel sensor found in the R6 and allows for higher resolution stills as well as more detailed oversampled 4K video. Other changes to the body itself include moving the on-off dial to the right side of the camera so that there can be a dedicated photo slash video toggle on the left. While this might cause R5 and R6 users to have to relearn some muscle memory, having the switch here is incredibly handy for true hybrid shooters as it changes from photo to video mode instantaneously and also remembers all settings between the two modes. On the photography side, the standout feature of the R6 Mark II includes the ability to get a whopping 40 frames per second shooting in electronic shutter mode as well as 12 frames per second in mechanical with AF and AE reading before each frame. Subject detection has been expanded to include trains, horses, and aircraft in addition to all of the previous human and animal detection modes. The Digic X processor borrowed from the R3 also allows for improved low light performance with the sensitivity range now extending from ISO 100 all the way to 102,400 and expandable to ISO 204,800 for working in very difficult lighting conditions. There's some key improvements to the video capabilities here as well. 4K video can now be shot with the full width of the sensor and no crop up to 60p and 1080p slow motion shooting has gone from 120 frames per second to 180 frames per second. In addition to internal 10-bit sampling with Canon Log 3, the R6 Mark II is also capable of outputting 10-bit 6K ProRes RAW over HDMI to compatible external monitors or 3.7K 12-bit ProRes RAW in Super 35 mode. There's some additional quality of life upgrades to the R6 Mark II that video shooters will definitely appreciate, including the addition of built-in false colors to help nail exposure without the need for external monitors. There's also enhanced focus breathing compensation with compatible lenses as well as no artificial recording limits. The R6 Mark II keeps many of the features and benefits found in the R6, meaning that the same excellent image stabilization and dual pixel autofocus is present here as well. The advanced dual pixel CMOS AF2 system features 1,053 automatic AF points that cover the entire area and provide noticeably fast and responsive focusing performance. And its low luminance limit focuses down to an impressive negative 6.5 EV for accurate focusing even in nighttime conditions. The stabilization in the R6 Mark II also includes up to seven steps of correction in body and up to eight steps with compatible IS lenses. And speaking of compatible IS lenses, Canon also unveiled the brand new 135mm f1.8 prime lens. This image stabilized RF mount lens features an impressively bright f1.8 maximum aperture that affords extensive control over depth of field for selective focus applications and also benefits from working in low light situations. Three ultra low dispersion elements also control a variety of aberrations in order to achieve high sharpness, clarity, and accurate color rendering. The lens features rounded nine blade diaphragm, is weather sealed, and like all Canon RF lenses, features convenient toggles for autofocus and stabilization in addition to a customizable control ring. And that is a very quick look at the new Canon EOS R6 Mark II and 135mm f1.8 lens. Compared to the original R6, the Mark II wisely takes an if it ain't broke don't fix it approach to many of the R6's best features and design choices, but includes some very solid and welcome improvements. The brand new 24 megapixel sensor, improved autofocus capabilities, and seriously impressive 40 frames per second shooting will definitely be appreciated by photographers, while the improved frame rate options, lack of record limits, oversampled 4K video, and extensive external recording options will keep video shooters happy. And for the true hybrid shooters, the ability to switch between these two modes on the fly with the flick of a switch is incredibly handy to have. But what do you think of the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, and what would you shoot on it? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Nick with B&H. Stay creative.